seven things I wish I'd known before getting a rabbit. Rabbit care isn't always straightforward. Rabbits often get confused with rodents like mice and hamsters, but they're actually very different. I did lots of research before getting a rabbit, but it didn't show me what keeping a rabbit is really like. Here are seven things I'd wish I'd known before getting a rabbit. Make sure you stayed till the end. The last one, it'll really shock you. Number one, they need lots of space. So many brochures and care guides told me that as long as I get a big enough cage, my rabbit would be happy. This isn't true at all. My rabbit needed the entire house to roam. Now that I gave my bunny the space she needs, I see her rum, hop, binky, and flop much more than I ever would if I didn't. Number two, they aren't going to be very cuddly. Before I got a rabbit, all I'd seen about rabbits is how cute and fluffy they are, and I assumed they'd love to be touched and held. This wasn't true at all. My rabbit loves me and likes to be pet, sometimes, but it's always on her terms. She hates being picked up. The cartoons lied. Number three, their body language takes time to get used to. I thought because I had owned other small animals before, I'd learned everything my rabbit was trying to tell me. Turns out, I actually had a lot to learn. Number four, it takes a lot of time for them to get close to you. Rabbits are really skittish animals. Getting my bunny to trust me was much harder than I thought it was going to be. For the first two months, she ran from me. I got scared by anything I did and wouldn't let me touch her. Over time, though, I gained her trust and was able to get closer and closer to her. Now we're best friends, but getting here took a lot of time. If you want to know how I managed to get my rabbit's trust, check out the video in the description. 5. They're smarter than you think. Rabbits are trainable. I didn't know this until my rabbit started predicting my routine. 6. They're all destructive. Some more annoying ways than others. Every rabbit is different, but every rabbit has a mischievous streak. My rabbit ignores wires and carpets, but it will chew any wood that gets left out on the ground, including the legs of my desk. If you want to know how I managed to stop the chewing, then check out my video about it. I'll put the link in the description below. Lastly, you are always on the lookout for misinformation. There are tons of myths around how to care for rabbits, so a lot of the products made for bunnies aren't good for them at all. Caring for my rabbit meant cross-checking my sources. If you want to know some of these myths to avoid, check out our video in the description. Is there anything you wish you'd known before getting your rabbit? Let us know in the comments. If you like this short and informational video, let us know by giving us a like and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching!